Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play FTL Fast and Light. I'm Nye. Uh, we have a uh, number of goals that we're trying to get. First of all, we're trying to get, of course, all of the achievements. And in order to do that, we got to unlock the last three ships. Uh, ship number one, of course, is the Mantis Cruiser. Uh, we know that we need to get uh, either level two oxygen, level two med bay, or level two cockpit to unlock it. We're not sure which, so let's try to narrow that down. We also know that we can't just destroy it because that deprives us of the ship. I'm assuming we gotta play like a mantis and we have to go and use a, a crew teleporter to jump onto the ship in order to take it over. And then I think that's gonna get us the ship. Option two is a slug cruiser. We know it comes from the slug homeworld, so that's about all we know. Uh, from the hints that's been given to me, we need to go and take part in some sort of event and doing so will actually get us the cruiser itself. Uh, we're supposed to uh, have to answer questions or choose some choices that are not exactly uh, optimal. And that's supposed to be how we get that. Last is the unidentified cruiser, the crystal cruiser. Uh, we have to get a crystal crew member first, and that's been causing us a little bit of trouble. We have seen the event a couple of times, and once we even completed it, uh, we were trying to do it earlier, and I thought it was needed max uh, engines to get in there so that we could get in fast and get out, but apparently that didn't work. Uh, it sounds like we need shields instead, and since we had level 2 shields last time that didn't work, I'm assuming it needs to be level 3 shields. So we're going to work from there. Uh, we are going to run to the Taurus. Uh, we haven't gotten any achievements for this one. That's one of the reasons. The achievements are pretty easy. Either uh, have three drones functioning at the same time, destroy an enemy ship using only drones or, and no weapons, or have four enemy systems or subsystems ion at the same time while using this cruiser. Shouldn't be too difficult for us to pull off. Let's get our NG into their normal stations. And we are good to go. So let's start exploring. Gonna de definitely, as usual, run around the nebula just a little bit. See what we can do, maybe get a little things going, uh, slow down the rebels, all that jazz. Let's see, let's attack this ship. I should probably set up my uh, items, or not items, but my uh, weapons and everything correctly. Okay, now that their shields are down, my uh, drone can do its work. Gonna take a little bit of damage off of that... Uh, Oh, don't have auto fire on. That would explain a lot of stuff. Uh, gonna make sure that my drone is gonna able to do a little bit of damage. Uh, kind of worried about having no shields though. I really hope my uh, NGs can get that fixed soon. Luckily, their weapons are offline. My drone just has to be able to do a, a couple attacks. Might have to micromanage my uh, ion blast just a little bit to make sure I can do exactly what I mean to do. keep flicking back and forth. Now, arguably, you should be able to do uh, uh, this very thing in order to get uh, four of these things shut down. The problem is, you just can't fire fast enough to get four places shut down at once. Not going to accept surrender from these guys. They dealt two points of damage to me, and of course, I don't appreciate that. Let's see if we can make sure their weapons stay offline. So they did two points of damage to me. Not worried about it. 18 scrap is good uh, for me. Let's get our uh, shields upgraded just a little bit. And explore the last bit of the nebula. See if we can find anything useful. Let's see, what are we going to find? We're going to find a pirate. Okay, I can do that. Okay, now their shields are offline. Let me see if I can get their weapons off. Because they have multiple missiles. I'm going to be taking some damage. Okay. Their weapons should be offline. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like my drone is able to do anything to these guys right now. There we go, got a little bit of damage on their weapons. Come on, drone. I don't know why it's taking you so long to hit these guys. Okay, so they're offering me four fuel, two drone parts, and eight scrap. Uh, I'll probably want those drone parts later on down the line, but right now, scrap is what I want. So uh, let's see about getting that. They are definitely getting their weapons back online, and the drone takes care of them. Awesome. Okay, 15 scrap. Nothing else that I, uh, c you know, can really do much with, but that's absolutely fine. Let's jump back and see if we can snag this beacon real quick. Not gonna surrender my crew to slavers. I don't know what they're thinking. Let's start taking them out offline. Shields are offline. Weapons are down, or the weapon that counts at least. Now, uh, when we're going to be going for those achievements, chances are I'm going to go towards the have three uh, drones online at once, since it doesn't seem particularly hard to get drones uh, in this game. And then, of course, I'm going to go for the uh, kill something using only a drone, 
probably going to end up doing that on uh, one of the shieldless uh, dr enemy, like, automated ships. Sounds like probably the best idea to me. And we usually come across those guys pretty easily in the uh, first sector, so I'm hoping to see one of those pretty soon. One fuel, one missile, and 21 scrap. Unfortunately, we did not get a uh, second... Um... Alright, not a second, but a fourth crew member. Was kind of hoping for that, but, you know, can't have everything. Nothing in this star system. We've got a distress beacon right here. Well, we have NGs and we have ions, so hopefully we'll get something here. Awesome, NG crew remotely repairs the targeting system. That's fine, that's exactly what I was hoping for. And uh, now we can pull some points out of engines and up our shields. So we're off to a good start. We've barely gone anywhere in the uh, uh, in this sector and we've already got level two shields. Now I don't think I'm actually gonna be able to pull off um, getting uh, these guys to their destination. Something tells me I'm going to end up uh, not having the time to do it. I'm going to take a little bit of damage off of that uh, off that missile. It's going to take my ion blast down. Not for long, thankfully, and the uh, uh, drone had their weapons taken offline. So, pretty satisfied about that. We took a little bit of damage, but it's not going to be enough to cause us to have too much trouble. Shut down their weapons again, and now we can work on taking out their shields. The uh, Taurus just has this very, very odd um, strategy to it. Uh, a little bit of micromanaging, too. I'm not too happy about the micromanaging. It's not my style, but, you know, it's not horrible. Okay, let's see if I can get to that uh, quest marker in time. Not sure if I can. We might have to fight our way out of here. I'm really hoping we don't have to, but... God, these guys have a lot of stuff, but nothing I can grab right now. Grab that quest marker. Got some scrap. Awesome. Okay, we actually should be able to make it to the exit without having to have a fight. That's actually fantastic. Really depends on this jump. Yep, able to get there just in time. Perfection. And they gave us a free Hull Smasher Laser Mark II. Uh, that's uh, pretty fantastic. Three lasers, one damage each, but two times damage in systemless rooms. Uh, we are probably going to end up using that uh, to great effect uh, later on down the line. Okay, I think I'm going to go... See, that's the question now. I can go... You know what? I'm going to go the bottom way. The reason why is we've got a ton of nebula there, which means slug home. And uh, we need to go there. And then this also leads us towards a red line, which could potentially get us uh Okay, we got a system repair drone. Not bad. Uh, we could potentially go red line on this option, or on this uh, run. And that would allow us to go into the Mantis homeworlds, which is one of, our, uh, one of the things we want to do. I'm going to ignore this station. I don't need to repair that badly. Oh, probably should get oxygen active again. And we're going to continue exploring. We are going to be looking for a distress beacon. I'm kind of running out of fuel, though. So I'm kind of hoping I'm going to see some fuel sometime soon. Okay, let's take those shields offline. Yes, and their weapons went offline, so we are not going to take any damage from this uh, event, which is good. Perfect. Okay, and the drone is attacking somewhat intelligently this time. Uh, not as intelligent as I would like it to be. I would love it to be attacking their weapons a little bit more. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's taking them down a decent amount. It's doing a decent job. Pound up their FTL, but of course they're not going to get away because their uh, cockpit's already slagged. So, some free stuff for us. Still looking for one of those automated ships. Well, let's see, two missiles, some drone parts, and some scrap, so still not getting the uh, important fuel that I need. I could backtrack and go to that store, but um, probably not the best idea I've ever had. Okay, so we don't have missiles to take care of, and with my level 2 shields, I'm not too worried about missiles either. So we should be able to just have an easy run on this one. Now they do have bombs, so if their bombs come back online, we could have a little bit of trouble, especially not knowing what type of bombs they have. Uh, you know, ion bombs wouldn't be too bad, but if they have um, 
you know, the uh, hull smasher bombs, whatever they call it, the hull bombs, that could be disastrous. And fantastic. Oh, come on. Resist, really? One more. There we go. Come on, give me some fuel. Yes, three fuel. Perfect. And two more fuel off of this group. And two points gets us our level 3 shields exactly as we were hoping for. So now we need to look for a distress beacon. That's our, uh... Okay, we got hostiles on board. We'll do this one the easy way. Just send everybody in and uh, let them fight their way through the shields. They're not going to do enough da uh, damage for me to care. Uh, they'll come out of there sooner rather than later. At least they should. What are these guys doing? Okay, are they seriously just gonna fight in here with no air? Okay then. I don't think I've ever seen something that stupid. Get my guys into the med bay so that way they can heal. Cause that uh, that got a little bit close. Almost lost everybody. Okay, but we're we made it. Uh, it was really risky, but we did it. Uh, if I hadn't done it that way, though, you know, they would have they would have taken out my shields, and I would have actually dealt damage to the ship, and uh, I just can't agree with that. So it looks like one of our NGs is actually going to be uh, leveling up on his uh, weapons pretty soon, which is fantastic. It means we're going to be firing that ion blast a lot faster, which we really definitely want to see. Okay, you get back to your place. How you doing, Jack? You're... Okay. So I see a store. I do not see a distress beacon, though. Let's explore this asteroid field. Get everything online. We need to get that anti... Whoa. Right. Get that anti-ship drone going. Now, the thing is, we're going to be getting there. um... Darn it. Come on, hit that... Ah, we're going to be taking damage off of that. Oh, not good. You get over here, help with that. They're offering me two fuel and four missiles. They're going to die. I mean, they're, they dealt damage to my ship and more than I would have appreciated, so I just intend to take them out. One fuel, two missiles, 17 scrap. The scrap is what's important to me right now. The missiles, I don't really care about. Okay, so level three shields it is. Uh, I'm probably going to start putting... Um, I don't know, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put my points right now. Uh, we're going to probably be putting a little bit of it into... Uh, Probably into engines. Okay, we got a distress beacon here. What do we find? Uh, let's dislodge ship by shooting at the rocks. Uh, we get some free scrap, and that's great. Explore just a little bit more, but I'm not seeing the distress beacon I'm looking for. Oh, this should be funny. So this is probably going to be the easiest fight uh, that we could be having right now, just because I'm going to be firing the ion blast so fast that their shields aren't really going to matter. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of damage off of this missile, unfortunately. Uh, it's going to take my uh, engines partly offline, but that's okay, because they actually had my engines uh, damaged already, or slightly disabled. So that's not exactly a... God, is my ion blast? Fire, please. Okay, there we go. That's not good. You get in here. Luckily, my... Uh, drone should take them out, but that was kind of crappy. Okay, you get back here, turn those back on. Uh, we have plenty of scrap. I'm actually going to probably hold on to the scrap, is my plan, and use it in an upcoming area. Uh, we're going to attack the slaver scum, and it is my hope that they will give us a free slave. I'm actually hoping for a mantis, uh, because not only... Uh, would the Mantis be rather fantastic just uh, for the getting the um, potential Mantis ship in case we actually need one, which is what I'm assuming. I'm assuming we actually need to have a Mantis to make that happen. So, uh, I, you know, that's part of what I wanted for, but also I'm looking to get a crew teleporter, and I would love to be able to throw Mantis onto enemy ships. Uh, that would, you know, help with our longevity, help us win the game uh, with, uh, with this ship. Now, we also need to see is some more ion weapons, so we can see about getting that ion thing going. Give us a NG, okay. Uh, I really didn't need a third NG. That's not um, the most helpful to me, but I'm not going to argue with having him because it means I have someone on the engines. Okay, so we got a pirate ship here. That's fine. 
This guy won't last long at all because we're just going to take his stuff offline and let the, uh, exactly like that. We're going to let the asteroids take care of him. Meanwhile, we're going to sit pretty in our three shields with him unable to puncture through it. Nope, they're offering me stuff I just don't care to have. They're going to go down pretty fast. Two more shots, or probably one with an asteroid, just like that. And we are awesome. We're good. One fuel, something, 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 24 scrap. Okay, so I got 92 scrap. Now what I'd love to see is um, potentially a drone uh, a drone recovery arm, uh, which gets us our drones back, as long as they aren't destroyed in combat. That would make my life a little bit easier. I really want to go to that distress beacon, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it to it in time. Let's investigate these life forms, try to communicate peacefully, and we activate yet another NG. Uh, again, I, d I don't really need all these NGs. Uh, this isn't... Um, Okay, so I got a choice. I can go to the stress beacon, or I can go to the exit. I'm gonna go to the stress beacon. I'm gonna risk it, because it might be the crystal. Um, we got a madman here. You know, I'm gonna bring him back to the ship. We have potential to actually get something out of it, or potential for him to do damage to the ship or kill someone. And uh, unfortunately, he died on the way back to the ship. Okay, so we're gonna have to fight our way out of two different areas. I'm actually not too worried about this fight. I mean, at all. Uh, we're going to take him down pretty quick. Now, what I do want to see is I want to get his weapons offline as fast as humanly possible. Because uh, I don't want that that missile to fire at me. Uh, there's a chance... Yes, my missiles are offline. Okay. So we're not going to really get anything out of this other than the experience for the fight in the first place. But on the plus side, we're not going to lose anything either. We're going to get the one fuel back that we spent to do it and we'll be good. Uh, those level 3 shields really doing good stuff for me, and the uh, ion weapon is, uh, you know, fantastic, as you might expect. Now, what I do need to start seeing is a store somewhere. I also need to start seeing that uh, drones start shooting at their weapons. I mean, it's enough for me to focus on um, their weapons. That's just fine, but I would like the drone to do it, too. That way I don't have to split my attention between shields and weapons. Okay, drone. Come on. Do a little bit more damage. I'd really appreciate seeing a uh, drone, uh, or an anti-ship drone Mark II, or maybe even a beam drone Mark II on this run. Uh, I've only ever seen the anti-ship drone once. It was in a shop, and I was running a ship that did not have drone control. Okay, jump to the exit. Don't really have a lot in the way of fuel, so we really need to start seeing some more of that. Okay, you do that. Where's he gonna go? Yes, I'm aware that we have an intruder in here. Okay, you... You get here. And we will withdraw a point from engines for now, I guess, and put that into healing, so that way we can take care of the fight that's uh, brewing in there. Uh, let's see, do I need to worry about their weapons at all? No, not at all. Okay. I mean, if they organized it perfectly, I could have a little bit of trouble with their weapons. I will, I'll admit that but they would have to organize it perfectly to make it a problem, so. Not too worried. We're gonna win this fight, too. Unfortunately, that Distress Beacon was not worth it, though. Okay. Two more shots and we're gonna be good. Their shields are permanently offline at this point. Don't expect to see them coming back. They've been taken out. We're gonna get our fuel and we're just gonna jump onwards. Let's see, I can go to the NG homeworlds, or I can go to the civilian sector. I'm going to go to the civilian sector, uh, so I can see what the red line is going to look like. And hopefully the civilian sector is going to show me that, um, distress beacon we're looking for. I think I've usually seen it in civilian sectors in the past. Okay, so we got ourselves a rebel ship. You get up here, and I'm going to vent the ship as much as possible, so that way when this sun goes off, we're not taking too much damage from fire. Ion Blast the shields, anti-ship drone activated, 
and we will go from there. Ooh. Looks like we're definitely going to be taking some damage off of those missiles. Uh, they hit drone control, and that's actually... It's not good. It looks like they did take out uh, our sensors, which is obnoxious. And they took out my weapons, too. That Those missiles are going to cause us a lot of trouble if we can't shut them down. Okay, looks like we have to go ahead. You and you get to the O2 and fix that problem. I'm just the, the big problem here is that my uh, my ion blasts are not actually hitting; they're missing every time, and uh, I mean that's an incredible problem. It's I mean I don't even know how we're having that problem because that's not a problem you usually have in this game, but um. Okay, can we get their missiles, please? I'm taking way too much damage from this. Missiles, weapons. There we go. Okay, now we're in a better position. You two are... Eh, should not be closing those. Okay, those are the doors I want closed. As soon as this thing's dead, I can move on. Almost there. One more. Okay. Let's get our reward. Two fuel, two missiles, 32 scrap. Fantastic, and we'll move on. I really hate these sun fights. Okay, got another scout. Oddly enough, uh, no, um... It still has armor, which, you know, we usually don't expect from scouts. Uh, so, uh, that's, uh, kind of odd. Looks like we will be having a, uh... A drone attacking us as well. Not too terribly worried about this, but we looks like we are going to be taking a little bit of damage off that drone because it does have uh, the, the uh, enemy ship does have a fairly uh, good uh, set of missiles. O2 is back online. Let's get our two NGs over here on uh, our med bay and have that repaired just in case I need it. And honestly, uh, with the way those two NGs are looking, I definitely need it. probably get them healed up as soon as we uh, defeat this ship, which is going to be right now. Pull a point out of engines in order to get them healed. And we got a ton of good stuff off of that. Okay. Jack, you get back on shields. Everybody's healing up because we have that lovely NG uh, uh, meta bay thing. Okay, so every how's everybody doing? Let's give it a couple more seconds. Get everybody he healed up completely. We have 183 scrap, and nothing to spend it on yet. It's kind of depressing. Okay, that should do it. Let's make our jump. I'm gonna gradually start making my way towards the exit, because I know the uh, Rebels are gonna show up now. I'm gonna attack another set of slavers. Uh, I really need to make sure that my shields do not go down during this fight, because they have a really, uh, not a powerful beam weapon, but a decent one. I'd like not to take the damage off of that. Looks like they have one of these slower moving uh, ion weapons. So I'm not too worried about that thing. But, uh, you know. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be fine. Our drone actually did take out weapons like it's supposed to, and it's just kind of pegging them all over the place. We'll accept a mantis. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. Okay, now what we need is a store and a crew teleporter, and we will be definitely on the way uh, to. Uh, Oh, really? Mantis, go in there, earn your keep. Not worried about that in the slightest. Okay, can you please... Okay, FDL's delayed, awesome, that's what I like to see. And that guy's way dead, which is good. Now, they have the weapons to take me out, but they have to coordinate. Now, the computer's notoriously bad at coordinating their weapons uh, to hit at a reasonable uh, time. So, unlike me, where I'm focusing, okay, let's get all these weapons attacking at the exact same time, take their shields out, and maybe do a little bit of damage, computer doesn't like to do that. Which is gonna cost it. Okay. That thing's gone. What was it carrying? Something nice, I hope? Got a survivor, got another human. Okay. Just gonna toss him in here in the med bay. Okay, we've got a store. What are we going to find in the store? 
Got our... Okay, we got a choice. Crew, teleporter, or cloaking. Or anti-ship 2. I'll be honest, guys. I gotta go with the anti-ship 2. And I'll pick up the crew teleporter. And uh, I will buy myself a little bit of fuel. And fix my ship up a little bit. Okay, so we are... We are in a decent position right now. We need more power, so I'm going to be uh, focusing on getting power to my systems. And uh, I need more uh, power to my um, uh, drone systems, of course. So we're going to be having to focus on that. Okay, let's start getting these guys online. This thing, this ship, has a really good chance of dealing damage to me if I let it. So i got to make sure not to let it. Now, what I really want to see is get my drone control to level 4. Okay, so we're unable to damage this thing now. Now, the good news is it's going to be unable to damage me as well. So, there is good news. But I'm having a lot of trouble just hitting the thing, and it's using ion inside of my, uh, inside of my ship and dealing a decent amount of damage uh, with that ion blast. So, it's taking my uh, guns out for 40 seconds. And the problem is that I have no way to deal damage to it right now while my guns are offline because my, uh... Let's see, where's that going? That's going to... Okay, that's fine. I have no problem with that going into sensors. Let's get that back online. Let's see if we can actually take this thing out. Shields went up. Oh, come on! Can you please hit? Okay, that one missed. Like, this, the, the, ah, my, my ion, my, I'm not hitting them with anything, that's the problem. Every time I'm getting close, they either cloak up or the next shot misses. Which is just really obnoxious, it really is. The, uh, dodge chance on this. There we go, okay. We're almost there, just one more, and of course it misses. So, we're gonna, we're getting kind of backwards progress, because every time I'm about to take their shields out, we miss. That's three misses in a row. Uh, there's a hit, okay. And looks like they took out my engines this time. No dodge chance anymore, which is okay. That's not a problem for me. Uh, looks like they do have my, uh... Okay, O2 still up. That's good. Come on, Ion. Hit this thing. Let's actually... Okay, shields are offline. Now my drone can actually do damage for the first time in this fight. It's not going to... Okay. Awesome. Cockpit's down. Now we're gonna win the fight. But that was a frustrating, like, two and a half minutes that we had there. I'm really glad this thing has bombs and not missiles and Ion bombs at that. Otherwise, we would have been taking a lot of damage, and I would have been unable to do anything about it. And luckily, it's hitting Ion with basically everything, uh, everything I don't need to worry about. Take no damage, that's fine. Okay, 22 scrap, and an anti-ship beam drone, plus more scrap. Uh, I'm gonna put points into my drone schematics, or my drone control, just for now. Uh, we're not going to be able to use it right now, because I need at least two more power to do that. But, you know, if we find a ship like that one, where, uh, you know, I don't need shields as much as I need drone control. Actually, like this one. This one's actually a really good example. I need an anti-ship drone more than I need, um, more than I need shields on this particular fight. Okay, we're going to take a missile. Oh, that hit, and that was actually a lot of damage. More damage than I would have liked to see. Now, we got the crew teleporter. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be using it, because we do really well if I'm able to use this anti-ship, too. The problem is, I am running out of drones. Uh, I only have five drones left right now. So, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to effectively, you know, do this. Okay, maybe I should start focusing on the shield, so my drone can actually get a couple hits in. I like this anti-ship, too. I will tell you what, I really, really like that. That thing does work. Okay, no, I'm not selling drone parts. I need my drone parts. We're just gonna keep moving. Hoping we find some drone parts in a fight sometime soon. I'm really hoping we start seeing a, uh... Uh, that we start seeing, like, the auto assaults that have no armor, or no, uh, shields, because, uh, they're usually not this rare, but we haven't been seeing hide nor hair of them this entire time. Okay, I might need to put 
points into uh, shield sometime soon, because I'm actually taking a lot of damage because I don't have level 2 shields up. Um, the problem is, if I change over to a different drone, I'm going to lose... I'm going to have to spend another drone part. Okay, so we're fine. That was pretty hairy, though. That wasn't exactly what I was uh, hoping for there. Okay. Good stuff. Got a drone part, so I replaced the drone uh, that I was using. Got some missiles. Got some uh, scrap. Distress beacon here. I'm only really going to get to choose to go to one of these distress beacons, unfortunately. Uh, let's, um... Let's offer them aboard our ship. Now we're taking them to a nearby planet, in which case we get 24 scrap. Okay, uh, I'm going to... Uh, unfortunately, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss the exit. Uh, the exit's going to be covered up before I can reach it. So, uh, we're, I guess, just going to be going to that other distress beacon that I didn't think that I wanted, that I was going to be able to go to. Uh, I don't exactly mind. Okay, looks like we're going to take a shot off of this missile. Yep, here it comes. Um, dr straight to the drone control, too. Okay, you get out there, get the drone control going back online. I keep on forgetting that I have this other engine that's sort of sitting around not doing anything. Okay, their weapons are offline, which is good. My drone control will be back online in just a second so we can finish taking these guys out. Because their weapons are completely gone. Good. Okay, just gonna leave that NG out there for now. No point uh, moving him around too much. Let's see, three fuel, one drone parts, and 18 scrap? No. That is already a no. Um, let's see. One fuel, one drone part, 31 scrap. Okay. Jump to the distress beacon. Come on, give me a crystal. Uh, let's see, send an NG crew to calm down the infected. We get the automated reloader, which is, uh, okay. It'll make my ion blast shoot faster. Um, you know, I'm not, a 100% happy with that one, to be honest. I would have liked uh, a little bit more. But, um, you know, if I don't have a choice in the matter. Okay, let's jump to the exit. Gonna have a fight in our hands. Uh, I should be able to beat this one and get that fuel back. Okay, so that Ion Blast is gonna have a really short cooldown now. I don't know if it's gonna be short enough to, uh... Yeah, it's actually a real bomb, okay? Oh, what happened? What the hell just happened? I'll be honest, I have no idea what just happened inside that engine room. I completely missed it. Because I thought my shields were online, so I don't know how, how uh, that guy took damage there. It wasn't the bomb, because the bomb was over here. Having a clue. Luckily, I have extra, I have extra crew this time. So I don't have to worry about it too much. Got another missile on the way in. It goes directly towards the engines, of course. Kind of as usual. Get our engines fired up again. Let's get our pilot healed up, so that way the same uh, stupidity that we just faced did, uh, does not happen to our pilot, because that would just be really bad. You know, right now we're okay. Uh, I took a little bit more damage than I should have. Uh, hull's critical. But I do believe... Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna go through the nebula and see if we can get the slug ship this time. Because I'm obviously not getting the crystal ship. Let's see what we can find. Let's hunt things down here. Let's see. So they're gonna try to burn me out. They have taken my uh, doors offline. Not a big fan of this. Uh, I mean, you, you might be able to guess that, of course. But uh, I don't like people trying to burn me to death. So uh, we're going to have to take them offline. Now, luckily, you know, as much as they're going to try to burn me, they have a fire beam. That's the beam on the left. But all they have is beams. So they're not going to actually be able to kill me. They're just going to, you know, those beams are going to just pound against my shields, and that's going to be about the end of it. So it could have been worse. Remember, most of the slug ships, uh, most of the in slug encounters like to do this sort of thing. Uh, they'll, uh you know, disable one part of your ship, and then they'll do something that would make you really want that one part of your ship online. Okay. So that guy's taken care of. 35 uh, scrap, which is good. 
Probably going to be saving that scrap for a while until we can find ourselves a store. Okay, got another set of uh, slugs that really want to uh, take a shot at the champ, I guess. Now, I did accidentally activate the system repair drone. Uh, this is not actually a bad thing. Uh, the system repair drone is... Why am I disabling their oxygen? The system repair drone is kind of cool in that uh, it, the anti-personnel drone does the same thing. It'll just kind of sit there, and even if it does use one drone part, as long as it doesn't get destroyed, it will still sit there anytime you reactivate it. Uh, you know, you're not using another drone part. It even uh, it stays between jumps. So, yes, I accidentally activated it. Yes, that reduces us down by one drone part, and I'm actually hurting for them. But we're not going to be in a completely terrible situation. Now, if I was able to get three uh, weapon power and get my whole laser online... Uh, I'd be in a much better position. I wouldn't have to rely too much, or so much on the drones. Let's see. Three fuel, two missiles, and 33 scrap. I mean, that's okay. But again, not, um... Not what I'm hoping for. Okay, so I need one more point into drone control in order to get that, uh, achievement, um... In order to get that achievement for having three drones online at the same time. Because I'll just turn the system repair drone on temporarily. Okay, so we got some uh, uh, pirates out here. Nifty. Teleporting onto my ship. Okay, well, I'm just going to move my guys out of there. And we're just going to asphyxiate you guys. Sure, attack the teleporter. I'm not using it. That is fine by me. Looks like we are going to take a shot from the missile. Okay, they decided to go towards the door I did not want them to go to, which is fine. I'll just move these guys over here. They're going to offer me three fuel drone part and 24 scrap. Not going to accept that. Especially with the level of damage they're doing to me right now. We'll just go ahead and take them out uh, entirely. And I have no idea where those intruders are at this point. I believe they're dead. But, uh, you know, it's not exactly something I want to, uh, guess at. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna make it to the store and just use some of what I have right now to, uh, repair my ship. Okay, uh, do I want to sell anything? Do I want to sell this beam drone? Yeah. Let's repair my ship a little bit more. And go ahead and start jumping again. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna use that beam drone. Okay, this is the point where I'm gonna be able to get that achievement for just using uh, drones. I'm not gonna use my weapons whatsoever. Hopefully, my drone will think about attacking the weapons though before the uh, missile actually deals damage to me. Nope. Once again, screwed by the drone. That should be an achievement for me. Yep, hardly lift a finger, investigate the station. Got another anti-ship drone. Uh, you know, again, don't need it, but um, good to have. I can just sell it later on, I guess. System repair drone will take care of the O2 for me, and then it'll go back to its normal place, and it will deactivate itself. Gonna turn that off so it's not using up power. And gonna keep on jumping. I am running out of fuel, so that is kind of a problem. I'm not incredibly worried about it, honestly. What I'm more worried about is my uh, lack of drones right now. Because that means I'm probably going to have to start moving into uh, teleporting guys onto enemy ships instead of using drones. And, uh, you know, while that's a strategy I like, I don't want to have to rely on it. That missile missed, thankfully. Okay, you know what? Let's teleport these two onto the enemy ship and work from here. So they got a human over there, and a rock. Looks like they took out my O2 again. Get my system repair drone on that. Yeah, we're obviously not going to win that fight over there. That's fine, because they have left the building. Get these two out of there. Now, this is going to be a good way to figure out, did they... Okay, they didn't get any experience in there, so that means that the experience is based entirely on kills. Which makes sense, but it's not the answer I wanted, you know? 
contact the civilian ship, get tons of fuel, missiles, and scrap. Put an extra point into there, so now I can have an anti-ship drone and an anti-ship 2 online at the same time, if I so desire. Which I may, I may not, you know. It's uh, just going to depend on what's going on. But, you know, with no drones right now, that's obviously not going to be high on my list of priorities. Still looking for uh, that slug ship. And so we are going to be attacked here. Uh, this one, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw my uh, teammates on there into the O2. I'm going to save myself a drone. Um, I'm going to save myself the drone. I really am. This does not seem worth the fight. recall my guys, and then I'm going to throw them back out there pretty much immediately uh, in an effort to um, uh, take out their crew members quickly and get some experience on these two. So we're going to see about doing that, but not going to bother throwing a drone at them. There's just no point, not with this particular ship design. They're not going to be able to get to the O2 to help it. Actually, what I think I'm going to do first is I'm going to get my guys over onto uh, their engines just to take those out real quick, because I believe... Yeah, they do get experience off of destruction as well. Uh, so this will allow them to get a little bit more experience for their work. But you can already see the tenting going on. So you can already see there's already a lot of damage being dealt to that ship. Okay, guy. Oh, why did I pull them out of there? That's not what I wanted to do in the slightest. And it's going to be too dangerous to throw them back on there again. Oh, well. Oh, well, that's fine. Wow, that actually got through my shields. Uh, that, um... Less than ideal there. Start taking out their... Uh, well, I'd like to start taking out their weapons, if I could actually hit them. The guys over there are not going to be lasting much longer at this point. Take that offline. And maybe I need heal. Okay. One fuel, two missiles, 47 scrap. Would have preferred drones... Uh, definitely would have preferred drones. Okay. Uh, do I have, let's see, four and two. So I need one more point into drone control in order to be able to um, set this up. So there's no one here. I'm going to jump to this unvisited location here. Okay, we have a guy named Slocknog. Uh, let's hire him. Why not? Because I haven't had a uh, slug in a while. That sounds really bad. I haven't had a slug in a while. I, I mean, are, are you hungry? Because we could go have some slugs. Sell that anti-ship drone. Uh, let's uh, buy their fuel, and then let's heal up as much as possible. That sounds good to me. Because I'm going to have to go back to here. I'm going to have to waste a few, uh, at least one fuel in order to get us to the exit. Okay, so disappointing. We did not see the slugs, or not did, did not see the slug ship, is what I uh, was talking about. Do have some slug controlled nebula, but um, I don't think we can get the ship there. So at this point, we're just hunting down uh, the the achievement, so that way we can get the uh, Type B Taurus. And um, so we have another slug nog apparently. Okay, but he wants to be, he wants to be rescued. Okay, um, interesting. So Slocknog apparently can, uh, if you get the event with him, there's a chance that if you deny him, he'll just ask to go with you anyway for free. Wish I had known that from earlier. Uh, let's see. So these guys are teleporting onto my ship this time, and this time, our uh, our med bay has been deactivated. Can't say I'm a big fan of that. I'm gonna power up my teleporter there. Or power up my uh teleporter. Yeah, my teleporter is what I'm powering up. Uh gonna power up my um oh man, they took my shield down completely. And started a fire inside of my crew teleporter. Well not a fan of that. Luckily we are winning the fight over there on the left hand side. Um almost lost though. You know that uh, that could have been bad.
and unfortunately my uh, med bay is completely offline, otherwise I'd heal my guys up and send them over. Could potentially still do that, but, you know, I've already spent the point on my uh, drone, so, you know, kind of why do that? They gave us a drone part, we got some scrap, so we, we, I mean, we got return for what we did, so I like that. I like it when that happens. Let's see, anything here? Let's just go over to the store. So we are just not getting the supplies we need. Now, this drone recovery arm is what I have been wanting for a while now, actually. But, um... If I get that, I can't get fuel. Have to go with the fuel. And the healing of the ship. Hopefully, I'll be able to see a drone recovery arm in the near future. Because I'm not going to be able to come back for that one. Let's see, let's lock on to their life sense. Their teleporter... Got one that's joining our crew. It is yet another, uh, yet another NG. And unfortunately, even if we could go back, uh, we have already, it's already been taken over. Okay, let's, uh, apparently we can't chase these guys, okay. Running out of fuel again. That seems to be sort of the, the, uh, watchword of, uh, of this particular event. Okay, you two go over here. teleport onto the enemy ship. So, let's see. We need to make sure that our shields remain on, because they do have two beams. Now, they're very weak beams, you know, so uh, there's that. So, as long as I can keep at least one shield online, uh, we're not going to have much trouble over here. Okay, you guys move to this room. You guys, yeah, heal up. For the remaining time until uh, until the teleport comes back online. You know, I'm really appreciating having a full crew here. This is nice. And they only have two crew members on over on their uh, on their ship. If these two get to full health, I might. Yeah, let's just kill them. Okay, once. Okay, so they're actually gonna make this easy for me too. Uh, they're. Uh... Yeah, they're just, they're, it's only, they're only fighting me one at a time. Oop, hello. Okay. They're only going to fight me one at a time, which is absolutely fine by me. And now they're dead. We get three fuel, thank you. One drone part, 49 scrap. I'm going to use that to put into there, so we have enough to be able to activate all of our drones at once. Uh, I'm not going to do that, you know, until we're on a, um, I didn't actually want you involved, Slocknog. You go over there. I got two Slocknogs. Um, yeah, I'm not actually going to do that until we're in a battle where I want two, uh, two anti-ship drones. But, uh... Yeah, this is just depressing. There's another store right there, and I have no scrap to use on it. Okay, what are we going to find here? Trade three missiles for three, three drones, uh, drone parts? Done. Can I trade missiles for fuel? Uh, let's see. Slug vessel broadcasting the distress signal. Oh, having a problem with our oxygen generation unit. Perhaps our Q can assist our repairs. Let's have our Mantis oversee the repairs. Uh, the Mantis uh, <laughs> kills them all, and we get a free free 50 scrap. Fantastic. Uh, that is a that is a cool response. I like that. Okay, uh, what I don't like is that we have absolutely no fuel. Now, this is not necessarily the worst event at all. as you can see, we're going to have a fight on our hands. Uh, that's not the right place for you to be. You come back here. No, nope, you don't get to take out my weapons. Okay, so um, this might be the event that I was talking about where I'm going to want... Uh, I'm going to want to have those two anti-ship drones up. So let's, let's see what happens. Let's let's do it. You know, why not? Let's get the achievement. Don't have enough power yet. Okay, let's take points out of there. There's our achievement for robotic warfare. Let's turn uh, the system repair drone back off. We just unlocked the NG Cruiser Type B. Okay, let's close off the doors. You come in here and repair that. Uh, need to get our heal our med bay back online. 
As you can see, two uh, drones just rip people to pieces. And we got two fuel for our efforts. Good. Okay, you get back in there. Let's close that. You two get back to your positions in here. Okay, so now we don't have to worry about any, uh, any achievements or anything like that. Which is good. Make our way towards the exit. We're kind of flying by the seat of our pants here when it comes to, uh... When it comes to fuel. Hope we've got some fuel at the exit. Nope. Okay, guys. This could be the end of this run. Depends on what happens right now. I'm gonna negotiate. Oh, he gets pissed that we try to negotiate. You know what, dude? Fine. I'm gonna take your crap by force. I'm not gonna even play with this guy. Not at all. Now, if we're able to take out their, uh... Uh, their, um... Med bay, then I'm gonna teleport my men onto his ship. But that's gonna rely on taking out his med bay. Which doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Looks like we're gonna hit everywhere but the med bay. But I'm not gonna complain too much about that. Okay. Never mind. You guys teleport onto there. Actually, you guys out of the fire and into this room. Let's win this fight. Looks like we should win this fight pretty handily, too. And they're dead. Five fuel, 53 scrap. So we actually... We made quite a return on our investment there. Uh, still lose, or still missing out on some, um, some drones. But uh, we did pretty darn good. I'm going to upgrade this... And then I'm going to hold on to all of that scrap in an effort to get a couple more upgrades going. Let's see, does this store have anything worth a damn? FTL recharge booster, shield recharge booster. Uh, I could, um... I could dismiss one of my crew members and get another Mantis. Uh, but I don't think, um... Don't think that's the ideal way for me to do this. So I'm just gonna take my repairs, I'm going to take my uh, fuel, and we are going to move on. You know, I really could have gone and bought some more drones, but I keep on hoping we're gonna find some drones sometime soon. Nope, not selling drones, I want to buy drones. You don't have drones for me? Can I find an event somewhere? Okay, you two. Get your butts in there. Okay, two of them teleported over here, so I'm gonna teleport my guys over there. And you two, get in here. Put some points into healing. And uh, this looks like it's gonna end up being a rather easy fight for us. Yep, definitely an easy fight. We will take a hit off of that, um, off that missile, though. Let's get that fixed real quick. Awesome. Got 66 scrap, and a rock has offered to join our crew, so I'm gonna dismiss, um, I'm gonna dismiss one of our slock nogs. That way we can get the rock crew member. Uh, that way he can take care of uh, any, um, uh, any excess, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? fire that we may get on this ship. You guys come on back. Good job. Once again, the crew teleporter shows, its, uh, shows itself to be absolutely essential for running a amazing ship. Okay, what do I want to upgrade right now? What's, what's most important to me right now? Um, well, first I want to go to the store. Because I have 93 scrap and I can buy stuff. Now, what does the store have for me? Nothing much. Um... Like, the Defense Drone 2 could be really useful, but it... Hmm. I'm seriously thinking about it. 
Have I bought anything? Of the yes, I bought the crew teleporter. Okay. Uh, there is an achievement for not buying anything at a store. And, um... You know, we already failed it, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, so we need to upgrade our drone control up to 8 at some point. Then we can run Defense 2 and Anti-Ship 2 if need be. Uh, you know, hopefully need not be, but... I think that's grammatically correct, what I just said, but I'm not quite sure. Okay. So let's send you two over to their ship. I'm not going to even bother ion blasting. Wait, yeah, yeah, I will. So I want to get rid of their weapons because they have a missile. Okay. So, looks like we should win that fight pretty handily. Now, one thing you can do, if I, if I were to get my... Uh, teleporter up to level 3, I could send two sets of crew members over to them. Uh, no! Son of a... Okay, it ended up working out, yeah, but that was crappy. The way that happened. An asteroid actually hit my crew member uh, while he was over on the enemy ship, and that's what killed him. Which, that is, that's a shitty way to go, it really is. Just gonna jump over here. And we have ourselves... Okay. Okay, well, how am I gonna do this? Hmm. What is he got? He's got a bomb and he's got a two-shot laser. This is how we're going to do this. Not my favorite way of taking care of this, but, uh... It'll take this guy out pretty quick. Looks like he does have a firebomb. You get in there, you get out of there. Trying to keep track of both sides at once is not exactly easy. Unfortunately, our ion blast is going to go down, but his shields are somewhat down, so we might still be able to take him out. Stop that. Looks like my rock crew member is definitely able to take out... No! I thought he was going to be able to take out the fire before it actually uh, took, out the, uh, took out the weapons in there. Crap! We need those weapons back online. Hey, uh, you get in here and help me fix that. More fire! Joy! I might actually take more damage off of this. Okay, you guys in there, everybody fix that up. Even if it is two mantises, uh, I can live with two mantises. There's a fire in my uh, drone control systems. Hopefully that fire is going to go out pretty soon. Okay, let's take points out of that and out of there so I can get the Ion Blast going again so we can actually take this guy out. Now, you into here. 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 Fire in the O2. Okay. Not really what I wanted to hear. Is this thing dead yet? It feels like this fight's been going on forever. Come on! Yeah, come on! This fight is going on forever. This would be it would have been a lot easier if we were uh, if we were not in the middle of a plasma storm. We would be able to throw a level two anti ship at it. Okay, now it's dead. Fantastic. Can I have fuel, please? One missile, one drone part, 49 scrap. Man, the game is trolling me. <laughs> Guys, I'm not totally convinced we're actually going to be able to get the fuel we need to uh, move on. Lock onto their life signs. Get free 46 scrap. Don't need that guy. We got scrap, but we have no fuel. Uh, kind of an as-usual thing for us at this point. Luckily, the enemies are pretty far behind us in the nebula. Let's explore the nearby area, but we find nothing. Let's try beacon on. 
Mantis ship wants to fight us. Okay. That is something I can definitely accept. It uh, looks like they're probably going to teleport onto our ship. Where are they going to teleport to? They're going to teleport to this room. Okay, let's get you out of there. Let's throw you into the fight. And a three on two inside of that room should end in our favor. Okay, you into healing, you into healing, you get out of that room, you get into that room. Actually, you get into here and help fix that. I hate to do this. I really hate to do this, but need to shoot down those incoming missiles. Cannot afford to be taken damage off that. Okay, let's pull a point out of the teleport to put into healing so I can get my guys healed up. And I might jump onto their ship, just kind of depending on um depending on how things go. If they can if we can take down their med bay, I'd be pretty happy. Wow, okay, that's not good. You get into there, you get out of there. I didn't realize our shields were having such trouble. Okay, you get into here and fix that. You guys, teleport onto there, take out whoever that is. They're trying to, they're trying to fix their ship, and I'm trying desperately to fix mine. Unfortunately, this, uh, drone is just not doing the business over there. Let's get these two out, because if I survive, I'm gonna want them to be alive. You get in here, help fix that. You get in here, help fix that. We're taking too much damage. You out of there. So I need to be able to open that stuff up. Get our shields online as fast as possible. You two back into the teleporter room. Okay. Seems like the fires are out. Okay, you two into there. Fix that so we can get uh, our drones back online. Uh, looks like you're going to need to go into here. So you guys can fix those. Man, oh wow, these guys jumped. I didn't even realize they were leaving. That was, um, that was not, a, that was not good. No part of that fight was good. Okay, you need to get back onto the shields. You two need to get into the med bay. Let's get arms, our armor back on, uh, shields back on. Let's get everything back online. Gonna have to. Oh right, that's right. I have no fuel. Ah, this ended badly. Okay, ship approaches. Let's just accept their offer. Turns out it was a false offer. Well, you know what? That's fine. See if I can take down their weapons. Okay, you two pull back. There's only two people on their ship, so my two mantises should be able to take them out with relative ease. It's like we're just playing against each other's shields right now. Unfortunately, uh, they have my shields almost down to nothing right now. Okay, but it looks like I'm gonna be able to take their shields out before they can do. Too much damage is the word I was lo I'm looking for here. Come on, shields come back online. Awesome. Five fuel, 59 scrap. We are back in the game. Uh, again, we are kind of flying by the seat of our pants here. Which, you know, well, fun. Okay, what we need to do is... Um, Save that scrap, so that way we can leave. Uh, I'm gonna go to the, this final spot in the hopes that we get something really good here. Uh, and instead, I'm going to see a cloaking... Oh god, I have no drones. Crap. Okay, we gotta hope we can kill this thing fast. I can't teleport onto it, unfortunately. Wow, I'm kind of amazed that guy did not die from uh, two missile impacts. But, you know, if that happens again... Yeah, we're, we're toast, guys. 
But the good news is we did unlock NG Type B. So, um, yeah, that's good news. Okay. We did okay. That was our uh, best run as the Taurus, or uh, our second best run as the Taurus so far. And uh, we did get two achievements, so we have unlocked the NG Type B. And I think this time I'm actually going to show what that does. Uh, the NG Type B is this one. It's called the Vortex. Uh, it's a very interesting ship. You start with a heavy ion as opposed to a regular. You also start with a heavy laser. And you start with three different drones. Uh, one's anti-personnel and, and we got two system repairs. But you only get one crew member. And the uh, the idea behind this one is to actually use your weapons to take out your enemies. And if they board, you have options. And you don't really need to have um, other crew members because the anti-personnel will kill anybody that gets on board. And the system repair drones will... Uh, your repair systems. You also start with a drone reactor booster, which has their uh, drone movement on ship uh, increased by 50%. It's not my favorite one, but it's kind of cool. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys next time. Ta-ta.